Hi, I'm Tracy Brown, the CEO of the American Diabetes Association. Hi, I'm Mary DeGroote. I'm the 2020 President of Healthcare and Education for the American Diabetes Association. I'm a clinical health psychologist and associate professor at Indiana University School of Medicine. We are very excited about spending some time with Dr. DeGroote today. <clears throat> We're gonna, as we always said, we are trying to bring the latest, the greatest, the most useful and helpful information to you as we all navigate COVID-19. And we are gonna spend some time with Dr. DeGroote today talking about mental health, uh, mental well-being, behavioral health. And so the first question that I have for you, Dr. DeGroote, is, is, is simply this. I know as a person living with diabetes, how important it is for me to manage my own mental health as it relates to managing my diabetes. Everyone in the country is going through a lot of change right now. Can you talk to us about just the importance of, of mental health and, and, and mental well being, and then some strategies around how to deal with this right now? Yeah. So you're right, we're, we're going through an unprecedented change in how we interact and how uh, we need to protect ourselves in this era of a pandemic. Um, and so this, one of the things that this recalls for us is that our mind and body are um, completely interconnected um, as they have been before the pandemic and as they will continue to be after the pandemic experience. Um, that how we think and feel and what we do influences our body, how our body feels um, inf influences what we think we do and, um, and our emotions. And so the first step really is in acknowledging that um, is to have awareness of um, how, how our internal experience is coping um, with our external uh, contingencies. So how are we feeling? I'm checking in with ourselves. Are we feeling anxious? Um, that's very normative actually, and can be protective at a certain level. Um, if it if gets beyond that level, that's when we want to start to take active strategies to rein that in. Are we feeling sad about uh, the changes and loss of life that are associated with the pandemic? We may well be feeling some of that. We might be feeling frustrated. We may be feeling um, stuck. Uh, we may we may have to uh, feel challenged by um, having to ch make changes to our daily routines and the mind share that it takes to uh, think about those changes to the routines. So the first step is really to check in with ourselves. How are we feeling, um, and what are some of our needs during this time? The second step is then to give ourselves permission to have those feelings um, and to, uh, to think about what some of our effective problem solving strategies have been in the past. For some of us, that may mean curtailing some of our exposure to the media. While we want to stay informed, and it's important that we uh, stay informed on a daily basis to the rapid changes that have been happening. Um, it may mean unplugging and turning some of that media off because it's not only a source of information, but it's also a source of emotional stimulation. And frequently that may be negative emotions that help us to fuel anxiety beyond the level that's helpful. Um, for other folks, it, we may, you may be like I am a knowledge coper. We, we need to know what's going on and that that gives us a better sense of control and acceptance um, for what's happening. But again, all things in moderation, just as um, we practice in diabetes, whether that's food or exercise um, or balancing um, our, our medications with our blood sugar needs. So um, being tuned into all of those pieces. Another component that's very important is creating a new routine. So for many people, they may have felt adrift the first day or maybe even the first week that we've been working from home or we've been changing up what we do. Um, and so establishing a regular eating pattern, establishing a regular sleep pattern. Um, for some people, they have much less to do because of the nature of their work and they're not able to do the work that they normally do. For other people, that may mean doing much more than we typically do. Um, or having more people around us or different people around us while we do it. 
So, uh, so checking in with our routines and giving ourselves permission to figure it out and also be compassionate with ourselves um, when, when we're in the process of doing that. We're not gonna get everything done perfectly um, and giving ourselves a little bit of slack and credit for all of the, the adaptation that we're, we're actively engaged in, whether we're think, actively thinking about it or whether it's just happening. That's fantastic. So uh, thank you so much, Dr. DeGroote. I mean, so let's all apply what she just shared with us, which is, you know, awareness, acceptance, adapting, creative, creating new routines, and giving ourselves some slack. Because what we're feeling is real, um, but let's apply some of these strategies. Thank you so much, Dr. DeGroote, for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank you.